In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate an LED light using FSUPC, FSUIPC offsets um, through Lewis scripting on a flight simulator. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and just show you how this works. If I click on this button, you'll see the lights off. If I click on it again, you'll see the lights on. Off, on. And the way we do that is we will set up, first off, a pin that's assigned in our Arduino. And in this case, I believe I'm using pin number 34. And we're going to go ahead and go into our settings. And we go over here to our controller board here. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm setting this up as horn LED, assigning it to pin number 34, which matches up with the pin number 34 there. Now, once that is done, we can then go ahead and configure this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this to configure it. And you'll see where it says FSUIPC, and there's an offset here. And I have a assigned offset, which is 0x66E1. And this is this is going to change based upon each one of the LEDs that you set up. Think of an offset like a like a tank that holds data. So we, we're going to put data in that tank, and every time there's data in that tank, then this is going to fire off this pin right here, which is in display. We're going to grab the board that we're using, the pin number, and it's horn LED, and you can always test it to see it running and then stop it. So, but that's, that's what we're going to do. So we're basically... We're going to take the data that's stored inside of here and we're going to fire off this pin every time there's data in it. But how do you get data into here? So what the way we're going to do that is we're going to write a Lewis script. And the Lewis script, I'll just show you an example of it here. So we are going to, oops, hopefully you can see that, but we're going to name it ASCRJ gear horn mute dot lua now what i did was i found the actual lvar value that every time that the gear mute is on that variable fires off right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to locate that basically inside my list of lvars associated with my aircraft and in another video I made, I'll show you, I show you how you can get this list for your aircraft. But I went ahead and found the gear horn here, and this gave me the actual variable to use. So then what I do is I name my file the exact same, but with the dot Lua at the end. And then I put in here function, and then I put in the actual LVAR name of that LVAR without the L colon. You'll notice it does not have that. And then parentheses var comma value and then a closing parentheses. So what we're going to basically do is take the value that's within here and we're going to write it. You'll see this write ub right here, ipc.writeub. <clears throat> we're going to write it to this FSUIPC offset. And there's a list of offsets you can get online that shows the ones that are available. Just think of them as tanks or buckets that will hold data. And so you have a bunch of these different buckets that you can use. Well, I'm going to use this one, and I want to store the value of this variable firing off into this bucket. And then I end it, and then it's going to go ahead and throw the event.lvar, where it's going to, again, but this time you're going to see it has the L colon in front of it, 500, and then the actual uh name of the event again here. So this is the script that you use. And we're going to go ahead and save that script to the name of the actual LVAR. And when we save that, that's going to appear inside your modules directory. It'll appear here, and you'll see right there how it's saved. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your FSUIPC5 INI file. And then you're going to scroll down to an area in here. And what this file does is think of it running as Flight Sim is starting up. It has to load in all those Lua scripts. 
So you'll see an area here that is underneath auto. So it's going to say to automatically load these scripts so it's listening for that data. So it's monitoring that bucket and anytime there's data in that bucket it's going to fire off the script. So I went ahead and add this and this is all one, two, three, four, five. So I had to add an additional one here which is 15 equals Lua. And then I put that as the same name as my file. Now when I do that, what it's doing now is it's going to listen for that bucket of data. When that bucket of data or that button is pushed, it's going to assign it to this offset. And then once it's assigned to this offset, it's going to go ahead and it's going to go ahead and fire off right here this pin, which is going to go fire off the actual uh, connectivity to that pin number 34, which goes over and completes the circuit to fire off the button. And that's how you set up a, an LED using offsets and Lewis scripts.